Jones go, this fantastic face. Yeah. He does look like he's dead in time. And so I said to Scott, we gotta have him in the tavern, right? You gotta have that face. That's, that's, a, that's a face that fits in the 1830s. Starts with, um, yeah, Christian and I have become good friends with uh, now Cinema Troupe John Fetterman. Uh, when I wrote Out of the Furnace, I had been uh, researching uh, still towns, dying still towns, and he was the mayor of Braddock, Pennsylvania, which was known to be one of the, as you know it, know it well from Pittsburgh. I'm from Pittsburgh, yeah. yeah it's yeah. one of the toughest, uh, you know, towns that's, that's fallen on hard times in um, the entire Rust Belt, but incredibly photogenic. and. Uh, it, was, it was difficult to secure locations, and I'd written it when I was touring with Crazy Heart. I'd been reading about Braddock, and I was riding out of the furnace, and I took a day and drove around. And I'm not sure that it was going to be so film friendly. So I reached out to the mayor, uh, who at that point was kind of a prominent figure for someone who had tried to revitalize Braddock. And he was very instrumental in helping Christian and me. Uh, shoot almost the entire film in Braddock, Pennsylvania, and, and, and really he loved the movie and, and, and was an ardent supporter of the film, wrote a few articles about the movie and his experience, and uh, Christian and I just became um, pals with him. And then he became lieutenant governor, and then of course he ran against Dr. Oz. <laughs> <laughs> Who would think that the TV personality could, you know, be a big politician? Could anybody bring up your celebrity? Sorry. Sorry, Netflix. Uh, I paid a little tribute to Jonah with the, um, in Out of the Furnace. I had the zip code of Braddock. Uh, the locals, uh, the, the locals say Braddock. Yes. Uh, um, the zip code tattooed you know, across my throat um, for that. And then Jonah's got this fantastic face. Yeah. He does look like Hulk he's definitely in time. Yeah. And so I said to Scott, we got to have him in the tavern. Right, you gotta have that face. That's that's a, that's a face that fits in the 1830s. Because a lot of faces don't fit in the 1830s. You know, we, we we looked at some really wonderful actors. Who just their faces? Got you just went. Their face just doesn't fit. In, in that. And Scott cast beautifully. I mean, I was so grateful for the people that he uh, cast who I got to. Uh, he looks like a survivor, with. doesn't he? Oh man, he's surviving. Anything. Well, your body's yeah. Pennsylvania. He also yeah. looks like because even if it's. I don't know, he showed up on set and it was, I don't know, 15, 18 degrees. He, he always wore shorts. <laughs> and then, of course, as he won, hoodie. someone said, John Fetterman is the first grip who's now a state senator. Oh, yeah, I saw that, yeah. <laughs> first T-grip elected state senator. <laughs>